Hey guys, Super Turner, welcome back to this. We're gonna be going into the sunken ship this time because I like the sunken ship more. That's literally the only reason. I just like this. That is a bottomless pit. Man, this episode is off to a great freaking start. Yes, that was a bottomless pit. I just like the sunken ship more. I like the boss more. There's just a lot of things I like more. And that, the desert is, the desert's actually interesting as well. Both of these areas are definitely a lot better than the one we just came from, without a doubt. And yeah, there's nothing up there actually. I, the design is not bad, but definitely leaves some to be desired. Oh yeah, this mechanic. Is there anything off to the left? One of them. Nothing else though. So, this area's gimmick, as you'll notice in the background, water will come surging through the area. All right, I can do this. Water will come surging through the area, and you just gotta block it off with pretty much anything you can have that is on screen. That is a platform will block the water, so make sure that there is something on screen. What did I say? That illuminates dark passages. That sounds actually kind of useful. Oh, it's immune to blind. Okay, that's a status that I don't think we've seen much of anything yet. Alright, so... Whoop. Yep, and you see, like, it would have been blocked right here, but because it wasn't on screen, it wasn't blocked. So it's kind of wonky in that way, but at the same time, it kind of needs to be wonky. Maybe. It's an interesting idea, if nothing else. And I do appreciate it for that. And man, the knockback on it is nasty. I feel like there's a thing up there. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna not tick you off and attack the not-a-mimic. Pinnacles. All right, I'm gonna have to take like a... Maybe not a bonus video per se, but take a second and show off all of the sub-weapons that I am not using because I don't use sub-weapons and when I do, I use evasion. So I'm just gonna have to take a moment and show off all of them. And you're dead. And you're dead. Thankfully the water doesn't go that low. Cause like, yeah, the water is really weird. It's cool. Ow. But it's also really weird in what it does. Okay, so I was supposed to get to here and just kind of ride the, and then most of it kind of goes away and it's weird. And it survives through most of the area. Until you like want to get batted away because stupid reasons. Money! Okay, so nothing up there really. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't actually explored these areas fully on my first playthrough. I kind of explored a little bit, but not fully. I suppose I would be a good reason for that like because most of the games I play I like to explore everything my first time through an area I could say maybe it's possibly because the first area showed me that like to progress I did or to explore fully I did need double jump which granted when I got double jump I went back and checked it out so I guess that would be the reason why all right so this attack has a vulnerability frames which I'm abusing the crap out of Apparently not well enough. Well, mostly well enough, not completely well enough. Hmm. I think we're on a pirate ship, guys. I could be wrong, but I think we're on a pirate ship. I mean, it would make sense. There's a bunch of loot, open chests, probably ghost pirates too. I mean, that would make even more sense. Oh, I got a hair clip. Maximum SP increase. Ooh, what's in here? Mushroom? Hmm. I actually have no clue what's up with this room. Yeah, I have no clue what's up with that room. Oh, yeah, this area is amusing. Let me... So, no smoking. Hmm, that's a lot of powder kegs. Let's, uh... Well, this technically isn't smoking. Technically isn't smoking. Hmm. 
Really? There it goes! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it, game! You, like, you had that not work long enough. Was that a thing? Up. No smoking in the gunpowder room. Oh, you can actually read more. Cool. So yeah, this was the gunpowder room. Was the gunpowder room. Is not any longer. And we've killed everything in there with the gunpowder. I don't know if it's possible to reignite that. I don't think I have successfully done so in my other play in my first playthrough. Which tells me that it's probably possible and I'm just bad. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me to learn that I'm bad. Hmm. Rolling shurikens. Sure. We should get getting pretty near to the boss at this point. I do enjoy the boss of this stage. I remember I enjoyed the boss of the stage. He was fun. Speaking of the boss of the stage, we found him. This reminds me of the death fight in one of the Castlevanias. I can't think of which one. Rondo of Blood? I think so. Yeah, yeah, probably. Not gonna stop a, not gonna stop a thing. Admiral Drake. He is kind of an interesting boss. He jumps around a lot. He likes to do attacks. I dodge out of the way in time. Well, I kind of just got really lucky. And I'm just gonna avoid all of his attacks without trying. He has more attacks. I, yeah, I know for a fact he has more attacks. Okay, so there is a strike of water. We can see in the background he kind of just makes a slight tear in the world, I suppose is a good word, appear. And then afterwards it's like a, a column attack in that area. His other attacks aren't that bad a defeat. And, oh yeah, you just have to get on the other side of him for that attack. And yes, we do swing a mean right hook, because technically the attack I'm using to beat you is more of a punch than anything else. Hmm, cursed land, you say. I suppose a cursed pirate would know about a cursed land. That would make sense. And we have one more area to go into, for now. What a welcome. Before we get into it, though, upgrade that. Get my shadow. I don't think there's anything I need elsewhere. So, let me see. Uh, do I have to, like, equip my shadow or something? That'd be kind of shitty if I did. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Nope. Nope. Maybe I just need to increment screens, since I got it on this screen. That would be really stupid, but I could see mechanically, programming-wise, why that would be true. Would not get rid of the fact that it's very stupid, but... Very stupid. Uh, welcome to Quicksand. See the little thing on the left side of the screen? That's making a note that it is slowing me down. Yep, you don't really want to be in quicksand if you can help it. Quicksand is bad. Really bad. Will you? I hate enemies that do that and just like stay just out of range. It's like the imp in Castlevania, everything else. They are so obnoxious. I am so low on health. I say that when I'm only like 50%. Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say sandworm when it first happened, but that's very obviously not a sandworm. Also, not that hard to dodge when I'm not being bad. Because he just does that, and then I can go to attack him, and then I'm just gonna hug the top wall. I should hug the other top wall. Man, I'm doing good at this game. I'm just going to keep attacking and hope that he misses. 
Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hmm, that could have gotten worse. I had to open my mouth. Welcome to the main part of the stage. It's all under the surface now. Uh, this area is... Like, I kind of like it, the idea of you meet the boss, because yes, that is actually the boss. Now we can see my Shadow Clone. Because that is actually the boss. You meet the boss pretty early on. This area is actually kind of lousy with um, poison status. So actually might not be a bad idea for me to put the poison mail. Oh, shit. Probably would not be a horrible idea for me to put the poison mail on. I gotta get back up now. Alright, I have successfully climbed back up. Because I wanted this. Resist the dark element. That sounds useful. And down more. I'm pretty sure this area is not that bad to understand what way to go. Whoop, did not want to hit that. Oh no, it's a worm! I'm gonna obliterate the worm. I think those worms are doing decent damage to me, but I don't know. I'm just gonna keep obliterating them as much as I can. Oh yeah, the boss does actually bug you, like, the majority of the stage. Just keep that in mind. He will be harassing you most of the stage. Hmm. Including anything that is, like, obvious, like a trap. Like, Grin, you kind of tell he's there because the screen is dark around it. But, details. Ooh, those are actually going to be nice in this area. Those are the desert sandals. Slippers made for desert travel. We will move a little slower now, but we will be immune to quicksand, which is kind of preferable. And just stay up here above him. Yeah, the boss is just going to be harassing us the entire time until we finally reach his proper arena at the end. But I kind of don't mind that. When was the last time we saw that guy? It was in the pyramid, was it not? Well, he's dead now, so we're not going to see him here. Well, okay, maybe we will see him again. Whatever. So much health. I have to attack so much and power through so much health. And yes, if we didn't have those slippers on, we would be moving that incredible slow speed on the quicksand, as there is enough quicksand in this area. And it's a pain in the butt to deal with. That's why I don't. I mean, why would I deal with it such a pain in the butt? Alright, so... This is really just pay attention to the way down, because... Well, you're gonna be going down, so why not pay attention to it? And I take a hit anyway, because I'm smart. Hmm... Come up here, come up here... And all the way up. Easy. A lot of different... Oh, you jerk! Yep, the boss is just... Man, th this boss is just a jerk. Just a jerk. Super levels of jerkage. Can I go up? I don't think I can go up. I'm gonna kill you, though. We're also reaching the point where my our levels up are going up. Oh, our leveling up is progressing a lot slower. And gee, I wonder if we've reached the potential boss fight. I'm gonna put the joggers back on because I don't really need them elsewhere anymore. Okay, I'm I'm gonna need them in here. That is my mistake. A W, a bunch of Ws, even more Ws. Yeah. But now you notice our attack is actually doing much more respectable damage. Much more respectable damage. I don't think his actual attacking changes much, because he still has the roll around and the jump around and his tongue. And this attack, I'm going to actually have to, what is his name? Fermony? I'm actually going to have to let him do attacks. Because, I mean, I'm going to kill him otherwise really quickly, though I don't think he does anything special that we have not yet seen. 
I mean, because we've seen all of these attacks already. I'm just gonna kill him. That face. Just that face at the end. Ah, perfect. Hmm. I wonder if that area is important. Nah, it couldn't be. There is no way that this area, the Baphomet Shrine, is important. What are you guys talking about? Speaking of, I do want to check something in this first area. Um, we can make this go a little longer because of that. That area is also the final boss area, and it is suitably long. I might be able to make that its own episode without making it short or anything. That would be nice, though I will have bonus stuff to show afterwards, including a bonus boss. Because there's the uh, boss refights, which are just more powerful boss fights, I believe. They do get new attacks, granted. Or at least new ways to use their attacks and more aggressive and such, but I, that's not that big of a deal. The uh, boss that's like the true bonus boss is a complete and utter reference. But I enjoy it for the reference since I never actually got to fight that fight. And it's... It's amusingly well done. Amusingly. That and it's kind of easy to cheat people. Yeah, to uh, cheese because of various abilities and such we have. I think next I'm going to work my level ups towards more mana. Like, I don't really need much anything else that's offered to me, so I think I'll just go for mana. And yes, I realize this is technically the third time we've seen this area, but... Well... It's the first area. I like the music. I mean, let's be honest, I, I really like Kirby music. If I had a way to record 3DS, I would have recorded this, I would have recorded Triple Deluxe, I would have recorded um, Robobot, I like Robobot, Boss Arena Room, hmm, nope, nothing fancy. Alright, I've satisfied my curiosity. So next time, we're just going to be going to the Baphomet Shrine, but first, I think to buy, there might be stuff to buy, I should have money at the very least. And spend money on stuff to buy. That seems like a wise idea. A hey, blacksmith. Uh, let's see. New sword, killing edge. Mm, not bad, not bad. Let's take it. And then I can buy this, this, this. And I've bought all the equipment that he offers. I don't think he gives us any more. And if he does, it would be post-game. So, anything new in this part? Just the Invince Elixir. Bye, bye. I'm gonna just end up buying potions from now on. Nothing too important there. Uh, 260 versus 290. I'll take it, I suppose. I suppose. Evasion's good. Oh yeah, I did have that on because that resists poison. Good for me, I'm, I'm mostly intelligent. Iron Helmet's good, Desert Sandals, let's go back to the Feather Joggers, and I like money. Yeah, pretty good. So next time, we're just going to be going on to Baphomet Shrine, which is the last area. That's going to be a fun one. It's going to be a long one. Later.